Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, it's me. Yes, here I am. I'm Alex, and uh, this is the Ramble, and we go until midnight Eastern Daylight Time here on the East Coast of the United States of America, and uh, of course, as always on Friday nights, we have a guest. Hello there, guest. Hi. Wait a minute. Let me uh, let me uh, go to her camera so oh, that I you can so you can on. see her. What? I didn't put my hat on. You didn't put your hat on. No. You want to go get yourself a hat? I'll borrow your hat. Yeah, go get a hat. She's gonna go get a hat. Okay. All right. There she goes. And she doesn't have her underpants on. I Those are my shorts on. Those are little shorts. Um. Quite a body for an old lady. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Anyway, uh, I I'll tell you, I, I have to uh, hear her mic. I Okay, here's what happened. Last week, hold on a second. Let me, let me go to the split screen. All right. Okay. All right. I had to, last week, I had to, um, I got a thing from somebody going, you know, the whole first uh, half hour of your show, there was this uh, rumble going on and so on. And, what, and, and uh, I, uh, I tried to figure out what it was. I said, you know, it, it made it very hard to listen to and all of that. And I'm thinking, what could it possibly be? And then this? I figured, it, well, no, it's uh, the fact that you're using a microphone over there. Move a little closer to it. Yeah. You just turned it in a I different know, direction. I, I know I had to turn it in a different direction. Because what happens is, if I turn this down, if I turn her mic down, you don't hear it as much. But because we have two mics on, ah. it's... Oh, a, so what's the rumble? Well, what? I mean, I, if I turn off the air conditioner, folks, listen for a moment. But we're not going to because it's very hot in New York tonight. Listen, see? They're, they're, now, no you rumble. Don't, now you don't have that rumble. Can you put it on a low fan? Uh, it's just still a very noisy. You know, it's it doesn't make a lot of noise when it's just my mic on, but when it's both mics. So why on. don't I come over there? We no, could because do the whole program over there. No, I'm coming. No, no, I'm no, coming, no, coming, no. Coming. Just go go back <laughs> over there. I'm coming okay, over. all right. That would fix your problem. That would fix the problem, but yeah. I, you know, I mean, it's just it's just we need the air conditioner on. Yeah, but let me come over there. No, why does that stay be? there? Just just don't worry about it. Talk about people that don't like change. I don't care about the the rumbling, but there's that one listener that cares about the rumbling. Uh, who's the listener? I don't know. Some some moron. Anyway, that's that's how I treat my audience. Some moron. So anyway, uh, how are you, my dear? Fine. Yeah, you took the day off today. I took the day off. My friend Paul is in. We're having the mini high school reunion. Yeah, Paul, you have a lot of friends who come in from time to time. And of all of them, I like Paula the most. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Paula likes you. Yeah, she's very, uh, she's very hip, and she. She's she, great. She really knows what's going on, yeah, yeah. and and her brain isn't as addled as yours is. Well, so mine it's is, always mine's gone. I, here's to show you how gone it is, and don't get mad at me for telling. I'm not this. getting mad at you, but you, the way you talk to me is so nasty. No, wait a minute. Well, hold on a second. Now you're being nice. I'm being very nice. Yeah, but you're not but, nice like no, that. No, but this worried me. Okay, so I'm, we're, we're, she's flipping. A, she loves to flip around stations. She's always looking for something to watch, and of course, she doesn't. A new real. series that I could watch without him. Y yeah, there's something no that he would definitely not like. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to start Stranger Things. By I'm the I'm going to watch my my Turkish uh, soap all over again. Oh, really? From yeah. the beginning to yeah, the all, end. All, all fifty-five. You don't have to. Don't 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 all lean 55. into the. All fifty-five. Uh, okay. Anyway, here's what happened. So we're, she's flipping around. She's looking at something. She comes out on Showtime. She starts looking at Showtime, and then she sees uh, I, I, we're dying. I'm uh, we're, I'm dying up here, which is the TV show about it's the cute. stand up it's comics it's about good. stand up comics. And uh, she says, "Have we seen that whole series?" And I said, "Yes, series? we saw the end of it." Okay. So now it's she's flipping down further. And it's it's not thirty seconds later, she sees I'm dying up here, 
again. It's listed somewhere else in the in the queue. It says, "Did we watch all of that?" And your point is, I and you, I and then and your then, point is, then I got it. Kind of got nasty and well, went. I just nasty. told you, you are always, thirty you, seconds you, ago. You're making it even sound nice the way you're talking. Don't right get now. your hand in my picture. That's the way <laughs> you sound. What? Right now, you're sounding nicer than you were in person when it happened. What? Whoop! The lights. Flickered. Flickered. I, I, go in and see if she turned on the air conditioner. No. I just want to see. Uh, when, I I go, when I go to bed, I'll go uh, see. No, but I want to see. I'll go to bed when I'm, I I'm, see. Then I'm going to go see. you go see. Huh? Wait a minute. I'll, I'll go see. Go ahead. Okay. Hold on. Well, so there we have it. That's I just, I just the sum of the, the day. So I forgot. It's not the end of the world, Alex. There's other things that are more pressing. Like our great oh. president. She didn't turn on the other air conditioner. She did? No. She's asleep. So, so the lights just flickered. Is she asleep? Flickered. Yeah. Yeah. Did you wake her? No. Well, these lights always flicker. Did they time light? to time. Yeah, yeah they're no. old. Well, anyway. Put your earphones in. What were you saying while I was gone? Nothing. Just between me and them. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, uh, uh, oh, but Bree has written. He says he's back in Dubai now. Couldn't call in from KL. What's KL? Huh. I can't remember what KL is. A country? Anyway. Uh, it's getting hot in here, isn't well, it? Well, Bree, call in tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, It's getting hot in here. It, it, it's been... We ate in the dining room with no air conditioning, and the windows were closed because it had rain. And it was, I was dying in there. We should have brought little televisions. It uh, wasn't, bladders. it wasn't. We should have eaten in the bedroom. It wasn't terrible. It was, I was like dying. Well, you, you have a very low tolerance to humidity and heat and things like that. But t tell them why we were eating in the dining room. Because we're three people and it's too many for the kitchen. No, no, no. There, there was another reason why we were eating in the dining room. Let me see. Oh, boy. What was it? You know, she'll never admit that I can do this. All right, he made a nice chicken dish. That, along with his ribs, are his two best dishes. Well, I'm developing stuff now. That's fine with me. But don't go into meat. No, I, I actually, my, my beef bourguignon is very good. Yeah, well, I'm passing on that. Why? It was hard. What? The beef was hard. The beef wasn't hard. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting back on beef. You don't like hard beef? <laughs> you got something against hard beef? I can't remember what hard beef is like. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, uh, tomorrow, now you see, here's, here's what she does. Almost any excuse for an anniversary. Uh, and because she figures that somehow I'll take her out to dinner. For Did that. you make reservations? No. No, not for this, because you were having a guest in town. But no, but so she sends stuff to me and gets it so it inserts itself in my calendar. I don't know how. It just inserts itself in my calendar. Maybe I clicked on it when you got it or I opened it and it's, you know. It's there for So I spam all of a sudden. I, I get these things like, you know, it's our anniversary, or it's Marjorie's birthday, or... They're uh, right. Yeah. When you, so, you forgot. The, so the, tomorrow, I have a notification <laughs> on my calendar that it's the what year anniversary? The Our first date. Of our first date. Yeah. Yeah. Now, am I supposed to take you out to eat for that? Well, we usually do. Really? Yeah. No. No. Yes, we do. We do for our anniversary. And we do for the summer anniversary. For the summer anniversary? Yeah, we do it twice. We do it twice. I see. Okay. Be, be, it, so that's, that's the way that goes. Yeah. So do you remember our first date? Yeah. Tell them about it. Tell them about it. We, either, we went to a movie and we either... Now, we met each other on... J date. J date, and we we actually. Did you, did you write me or did I write you? I wrote you, of you wrote course, me. and I asked you out, of course. Oh, okay. Um, we met. And at, by the way, may I say your picture in J date looked nothing like you. If if you had said, 
uh, I'll meet you in the front of the theater or whatever. I wouldn't know who it was. We met at the record store next door. Really? Yeah, Tower Records, Tower which Records, no longer. You don't think of us being together a long time, but when you say Tower Records, that's where we first saw each other. Yeah, before the movie. Yeah. And we either saw um, Captain... No, we saw Captain... Uh, of America. Uh, uh, Captain something in the world of tomorrow. Tomorrow. But Captain... Sunshine and something the Captain like that. Of, yeah, and the, and the world of tomorrow. And yeah. That's what we saw. That was our first movie. But anyway... Um, and then we went to a restaurant that has since closed. Yes. Oh my God. Well, wait, which one is that? Uh, uh, no, no, no Star. Oh no, Who Star? We went to No Who Star. Our first date. Yeah. No Who Star is this. This shows you what's happening in this world now. No Who Star was this really great. What could we call it? Pub. Sunday brunch place. It you didn't great. want to. You didn't want for dinner. Didn't, but you didn't want to get Saturday brunch there. And you know, I never thought of it as a dinner place. Oh All yeah, right. yeah. I've been there for dinner. Yeah, well, I mean, you've been there for dinner, and but lunch. I. Never, but but anyway, it was a great brunch place, and they had that great Bloody Mary. And I don't drink. But you took but, some of mine. But on. I love those Bloody Marys. But I have been going there for years yeah. before our first date. So I this mean, is where we had our first date, and we went back recently. And there was a big sign that said, thank you for the 33 years that we've been here, but sorry, we have to close. Yeah. Rents went up, I'm sure. Something. And it's, I think it's still closed. Yeah. I, I went by there a couple of weeks ago, and it was still closed. So, you know, so, yeah, so they raised the rent. Big it's fucking sad. deal. They yeah. don't have anybody in there. Yeah. You know? It's, it's the greed of the city. And a lot of people, a lot of places are closing down like yeah. crazy because the rents just go Can't sky high. It. You, on your street, on Madison Avenue, next to where you work. It's an empty shop, right? There's two empty shops right there that are for rent. Yeah. And a lot of candy stores, right? In our block between 52nd and 53rd, there are three chocolate stores. Two Japanese and one Swiss. And they're crowded. And you should see it Valentine's Day. You know who I am going to predict will wind up going out of business, or at least moving their business? Tiffany's. Because they're right on the corner of Trump Tower. Yeah, but that place is, is, is classic. They've had that for years. Yes, they've had it for years, even since the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's. They've had it for years. They're not moving. But, no. I don't, be out of I, 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 I don't, be out of I, I'm wondering how bad business is for them with all that congestion there because uh, like I passed it the other day there's one whole street you can't drive up tell me about it you know I mean and and it's it's a it's a real mess in that area and yeah, but people that are walking it's still very crowded around there so so Tiffany still does business absolutely Let's see what happens, because I, you know, it's, it hasn't been. I I read somewhere they were complaining that business. They were complaining in the beginning, but it's you know it's what's really a problem is the stores inside Trump Tower, and the people that live there. I mean, the security that I have to go through now, and there's a lot of empty. Apartments. I guess nobody who bought into an apartment there or whatever since no before. Yeah, it's co-op. before no, but I'm saying before he, he became, became president. Ever thought that would happen or that was ever a possibility and now they can barely get into their apartment house you know I mean here we walk in the front gate and we come up to the yeah, apartment I mean, that's what you there. used to do at Trump Tower yeah. you know so I mean it really it's it's terrible for, for them and the rents are so high in there that the government moved out yeah <laughs> <laughs> they were taking like a whole floor or something and he was charging them top dollar yeah 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 he's such a yeah, well, huh. yeah, he's a douchebag. What he can is. I say? Major douchebag. Uh, but it, uh, you know, but it was, so anyway, we went on our first date, and we had lunch there. So, what did you think of me initially? Uh, that you would be a good movie friend. You, you never thought I'd be a boyfriend. Never. So why did you? Why did I suddenly become a boyfriend? Well, it took three months. What do you mean it took three months? It took three months till you first kissed me. It wasn't three months. Yes, it was. It was? Yeah. No. Yeah. 
So that as soon as I kissed you, you're that cheap no. a slut that all of a sudden I'm your boy? No, you walked me to the subway and kissed me, and it kind of changed it a little. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then you moved in. That was a couple of years later. <laughs> well, wait a minute. What happened then? How, how did it, it develop? It was 2004. I had my surgery in 2009. Remember, our second movie was a Chinese movie. Yes. Uh, um, something flying or yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's a good yeah. movie. It was a very good movie. I'm trying to remember the name of it now, uh, but I block it out because just like I block out the rest of our relationship, it's you know. Don't we both? It, it, <laughs> I mean, why 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 don't you make ten twenty? Yeah, just checking. Anyway, where was I? I have no idea. I don't. I don't know where I was. It last night, the end of the show. What show? I, this show. What show? What else do I have? I have precious little in this world when it comes to performing. Outside of the fact I'm going to do a show on uh, uh, on what Premier Networks is it? Premier Networks that's, uh, that he, that uh, Walter's got his show on. Walter Sterling has a show on on uh, on. I think it's on Premier. I may be wrong. But uh, so, but it's going to be done from CBS. I'm going to do his show on the 26th of August, and it's what day is the 26th? It's got me sh frightened shitless. Why? Because I'm out of practice. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. And then the last night at the end of the show, I don't know. I somehow drew this major blank, and couldn't figure out what to turn off first and what to turn off second. And That's then it turned out a checklist. I forgot. I don't have it. I, the checklist is that I've been doing this with such repetition over the years that I shouldn't have problems. All right, but you're at that age now where you forget <laughs> to make a checklist. And you got that age thing going for you, and you're well, really you an do. old fart. You do, Any, you do, you do. Hey, for the, hey, uh, did we did we see uh, uh, I'm dying up here? Did we see all of uh, Did we see all of I'm dying up 10, here? Ten twenty two. I don't know if I saw. We saw all of I'm dying up here. Anyway, your point is. My point is this, young lady, uh, that, uh, that uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. I have so, no idea. I, and then what I forgot to do was turn, I forgot to turn like, off talk the. Talk about forgetting. Hold on. Talk a about people forgetting. I'm talking about. This is not like five to 30 seconds later asking the same question because I forgot that I asked. No, it. but you just forgot to turn the dials that you've been doing I for forgot, like half a I, century. I forgot to turn off the encoder. Which has to be turned off so that Jack can, Jack get, can get on. Oh boy, bad boy. And that gave me a lot of stuff at the end of my show, so I had to edit it. And it was a mess. Just a mess. What just, can I say? Just another day. Huh? 10.22. Can I roll over? Uh, no. And then I did it the long way around to fix it. I didn't think there was this easy, simple way to fix the problem. And when did you figure out that it was uh, easy This morning. Way? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so so I I, I it, it's it's like there are certain things where I just like I'm freezing up now, and I no, don't you know like when I'm when I start this show I'm try, got to make sure I got everything going right. So a know. checklist. What is wrong with the checklist? Because I don't work well with checklists. Where am I well, going to put? Where am I going to put? A, where am I going to put a checklist just put here? Put it right on the wall. Oh yeah, obviously, I'm going to sit here and go. Oh wait a minute, folks. Obviously, yeah. you don't work well without a checklist. Obviously, I most of the time I have worked well without a checklist. So obviously, why are you complaining? Well, obviously, I'm complaining because I feel like I maybe need a checklist. <laughs> I think you do. Okay. Yeah. 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 So um, uh, let me see here. So uh, what else is new? Um, you know something for somebody who who said you know do you remember when you and I gave up watching the news? We did that for about six, yeah. six eight months after. Yeah, well, after Trump was elected. After Trump was elected, so whatever happened to that? Let's do that again. Because it is it's so, so boring. Oh God! These, and I listen to it all day in the office. These, yes, I know, but these people are droning away on MSNBC. Same it's the same thing. old thing, you but know. On most channels, CNN. It's they're the same so thing. fucking predictable over there at at uh, CNBC, you know. All I mean the MSNBC. All the stations now. Yeah, uh, and, and I know if I go over to Fox, what I'm going to see. You know who I find myself watching? I know this sounds weird, folks, and please forgive me for this. 
But the chan well, two, one channel over is BBC, so sometimes I stop and watch that a little bit because it really is far more interesting, sure. right, than MSNBC. And then right next to that is The Blaze, Glenn Beck's network. Oh, God. Well, I don't mind watching Glenn Beck, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Because he's a radio person. He's a good broadcaster. He really is a, he has a he has a really good definitive style that he has and his ability to communicate with the audience at least on the radio program. I didn't like him when he was on Fox doing but TV. He's a schmuck. Uh yes and no. Yes and yes. You know, uh but I, anyway, I listen to him and um I get I, I it's it's a relief of sorts. Even though it's the, the you know the conservative side, it's it's uh, it, it's a bit of a relief because he's not as driving away at the same thing over and over and over and over uh, again. Pushy. You know, because then you go over to Fox and they're doing they're the polar opposite of MSNBC and they're sitting there grinding away at the over opposite thing. Over and over thing. and over. Although Fox more and more is getting less and less. Uh, well, they 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 don't give. Trump quite the quarter they used to give him, you know. Uh, there, there's some people who are calling him to account. So, it's about time. Well, it's you know. Did you hear him the other night at that? The kids sitting in that audience. I mean, it was a sham. I and I think he said something dirty too because they bleeped it and the kids are standing right there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he may have used you know it was I mean, an, whatever what person, it was it was an what improper person, word. What a, what an asshole to like represent this great country. We like last, last night we had this guy Keenan. He's been on for two nights in a row. He's been calling us from Thailand. And yesterday he was just driving down the street in Thailand. You'll see the show probably on Monday. Uh, driving down the street in Thailand and just shooting the stuff that goes by. One of them is a truck he kept coming up on that said Botox on the side. Um, with a beautiful Asian Botoxed woman. But anyway, uh, that all of a sudden was kind of, it was kind of a relief to me. That and, and uh, Ray get, taking to, his walk. To, to get away from politics. To get away from politics. To get away from Trump because he, 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 takes, Trump the air out of, he takes the air out of the room. I mean, it yeah, just. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I. It's 27. Uh, you know, uh, uh, yes, right. I, uh, so, I mean, I, uh, you know, and so I. Stay there. Stay. Stay. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I mean, while I'm not a big fan of of what's his name on the blaze. Uh, Who? Oh, boy. I just said Glenn Beck? Glenn Beck. <laughs> the name you couldn't remember that you just said two seconds ago? You know, you just sit over. There. Do not come over here yet. It's not time. It's my time. No, it's not time yet. You really, you really. Wait, well, hold on a second. I know. Just stay over there while I do some work here. Okay, I have work to do. By the way, in about a month, I don't know if we're gonna have a show anymore because this whole no Skype. Up? Well, no, the Skype thing ah. is like gonna be a real problem. You'll for deal you. with it when you have to deal with it. What do you do now? There's half of you in the picture, and you look this. <laughs> no, I better no, come no. all the go, way up. Go and back no. over there. The, go, stay there. Stay, 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 stay. See, that's how close she is to me. Looks like we have a giant. Studio. Well, actually, we do have a lot of library here. Anyway, uh, okay. Look, if you want to, you can come on over. Come on over. That's it. Come on over. You gotta turn the microphone. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I gotta turn your microphone off. Ah, you see the rumbling's gone for anybody who was enamored of the rumbling, as it were. Um, anyway, uh, there you go. The mic's there. All right. Make a checklist. Somebody said for you to make a checklist. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> make a checklist. Who said? Who said make a checklist? Then we. You go, girl. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Sam. Uh, Ma go Marjorie don't let him off that easily Alex you can't remember the movies you're making fun of Marjorie <laughs> uh, please tell Alex his depends are leaking Alex your depends are leaking oh, 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 wait chair. a minute wait a minute where's that where's that again 
My depends are leaking. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. Love, love, love Friday night. See, people like this this piece of shit we do here. <laughs> um, I don't fully understand why uh, they go. Uh, Nothing wrong with that, says uh, uh, Bree. Uh, let's see here, uh, Alex. Will you be back on the radio? Uh, it's from Bree. And uh, just one night only. Uh, and we'll let you know where. It's going to be a disaster. That's what I feel. Well, you're turning it into a disaster. Huh? You're what, turning it into what, what are you doing? I'm just trying to get in the what, picture. It says here. Alex Bennett is online. What? How? How do I suddenly? I I guess I did come online, but maybe you called yourself. Maybe it's. Well, the 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 board is open, everyone. What's open? The board. Oh yeah, our calls, our our lines are open here. Please call. Let me make sure. Yeah, no, I don't know why it said Alex Benno's calling. I don't have another machine that's on calling. So please call. This anyway. girl's tired. What? I have to get up at five fifteen. You're really that tired? Yes. You have to get up when? Five fifteen. Why? Because I have to go work out. I have to go work out. I have to go work out. You know, you could say, "Hey, it's my night day off of work. No, I think I'll sleep sp- late." I'm taking a spin class. You know, do you take a spin class? I uh, I I spun today. I did uh, th- what? Forty forty minutes. Do you sweat when you come out? Yeah, but not terribly. You're not pushing yourself. What? I don't want to push myself. Well, that's how you're going to see benefits. Oh, I'm I sw- I'm sweating. I are, have to. Are your pa- legs I- tightening up? I don't know what's your happening. Your thighs in my are legs. they getting tight up here? I have no idea. Are they getting tight? What, what are you doing? What are you feeling down your, there? Your thighs. She can do it. She's my wife. <laughs> actually, I'm your girlfriend. Actually, she can't do it. She's my wife. <laughs> anyway, last night we had. Nobody calling Nobody at the beginning calling. of the show. Well, it's probably going to be like that. It's past my bedtime. Uh, yeah. and uh, Somebody call, please. Uh, somebody, yeah, somebody please call anybody. Um, but it, it, it looks like we're not, you know, we may be in the same shape as we were last night. Can I kiss you goodnight? Are you going? <laughs> You're going to leave me here while nobody's on the well, line? Where's Phil when you want him? Huh? I know Phil was supposed to call tonight. Uh I checked with him today because I wanted to make sure he was okay. Is he? He said last night he felt like he was sweating and he was nauseous and whatever, and I, he, so he had to go to bed. And I, that worried me a little, you know. Uh, and uh, he said today he was fine. And I said, well, I would call your doctor about it, you know, just to make sure that Absolutely. You know, you're, you're okay, you know. But anyway, well, if, if nobody's going to call, I'm just going to sign That's not a bad thing. idea. What? Let's just close it down. Just close it down? Yeah. Okay. That sounds like a good idea. All right. So what should we say? To what time? Huh? What time? I'll give him another two minutes. So 25 of? 25 of, and then I'll play the theme and we'll call it quits. Okay. You know? Yeah. Oh, uh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Somebody always calls and ruins me getting off early. Okay, where where are you? Wait a minute. There he is. Hold on a second. Let me uh, let me do that. Uh, Bree, uh, we, we can't see you. Oops. Oh, oh, jeez. You, and you get you getting slapped back on you. There he is. Uh, Bree, do you have some sound? There's a kind of a sound problem there. There we go. Uh, you there, Bree? I am. Can yeah. You hear me? Yeah. We yeah. can't see you. But though. we can't see you. Ah, okay. Hold on. Okay. I'm using uh, this little uh, Android tablet. It's not the best. Yeah. No. But, well, the, I don't even. We we don't even see you. We just see the window. And the oh, well, cable. Th- there's the oh, cable. There's, there's a cable. Uh, yeah. Wait a yeah, minute. Let me see. Let me see here. Uh, uh, that's an interesting shot. This is what happens it's when SG. SG is uh, he's a uh, he's a troublemaker. He's a troublemaker. Uh, hello, SG. You there? SG. Are uh, you? This isn't SG. Huh? This is Phil. Oh, the Phil. Phil. Oh. Yeah. I don't understand why. A different uh, why Phil? that video I'm is so dark. Uh, move it away from the window. Move it away from the window. Oh, oh. There you go. Now, maybe that. No, it's still dark. Still dark. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. 
That's so good strange. Your voice. I'm, I'm in I'm light. Good night. You know? yeah, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night, everyone. Yeah. yeah. Everyone uh, in the dark. Hi. Hi, SG. How are you? Everybody's really dark tonight. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Let's uh, let's see. We got uh, we uh, got SG, and then we got Phil. Phil's on the phone, right, Phil? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call Tech Services at Freesonus to get this thing going. Tech, yeah, but what, 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 can't you plug in the old one and? Uh, uh, it, it, there's no room in here, uh, you know. Uh, I, it's going to be a short one for me, but uh, I I just wanted to mention that you probably have a new disease that's going around. What's that? Trump derangement syndrome. They call it uh, 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 TBS for short. Really? Yeah, and, and it, it's affecting liberals and, and lefties uh, across the nation. I see. And uh, so you may have, uh, you know, you may have uh, contracted this disease. I see. Yeah. Did you it, 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 did you work on that while you were lying in bed trying to get better last night? No, uh, it, this Trump derangement syndrome seems to be what they're pushing on the uh, Fox network. So, uh, I, I kind of like it here. <laughs> Trump derangement and, uh, syndrome. Yeah, Trump derangement syndrome. And, and, and uh, w w what does that entail exactly? Hello, Scott. What does that uh, entail? It entails anything that he does. There it, must be a way to interpret it negatively. You know? Oh, oh I see. They, they bleep him. So therefore, he said something wrong. Uh, you know. Well, no, he said something. It, he said it, something. Wait a minute. Hold on, Phil. He, he now he. Now. Yeah. Well, uh, didn't you didn't you say that there was a comedian that said something, but because it was bleeped out, it was okay. No, uh, I yeah. said I said it yeah. was okay. No, I said it was okay because it, they bleeped it. At, they knew it was going to get bleeped, so they did it so they would have a bleep there. All right. Well, in the case they, of Trump, he was giving a speech them. to people, and he said something that I guess the network felt they couldn't do, they couldn't say, and uh, they bleeped it. it. You know, it might have been, it probably wasn't anything terrible. I mean, it was like it probably went fuck or shit, but it was probably something like goddamn or something like that, you know. Yeah, he said hell a few times during that uh, rally. Yeah. You know, I wonder if they asked for donations. You mean his lying sack of shit rally? Yeah, well, I, no, actually, I, I thought it was all right. This is a guy yeah, who said, who, he, he, yes, he, one of the things I love that he said in that speech was something to the effect of uh, the Russians, um, uh, 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 I'm the worst thing that's ever happened to the Russians. You know, they, they are not happy that I'm president. Right? Wasn't that something like yeah, that, Scott? Because, yeah. 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 And then, the, and wait a minute, wait a minute. This is just two weeks after Putin, when asked uh, how, who we wanted to have win the election, he said, oh, Don, we were rooting for Donald Trump. So how is yeah. he the worst, uh, you know, the worst thing that the Russians could possibly think of if, in fact, that's the guy they wanted? Well, it's very simple. He threw out 60-some-odd of their... Uh, uh, no, no, no. After, no. Uh, they By the way, he didn't. Was, he didn't. Uh, he didn't throw them out. He didn't. He didn't give the yeah, order. He, he didn't. He did not give the order to throw them out. Uh, under his administration. Under his administration, but the the uh, I think it was uh, the Justice Department or somebody like that are the ones who did it, and it had nothing to do with Donald Trump ordering it to happen. Well, this is just more TBS. And the uh, no, no, I, 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 stop that with that. If you no if you if you no say if you say that does, if you say that he term, could be the second coming of Christ, it, and and you'd find a oh, way to put it down. Well, if the second coming of Christ, if Christ came back again as a Jew, we'd nail him to a cross again. Anyway, well, they're doing that to Trump. <laughs> uh, believe me, he's not saintly enough to be on a cross. Anyway, yeah. uh, hello, uh, hello to S G S G. You yes. can't. You can't have agreed with my assessment that uh, he was not. No, I, I, I'm uh, basically going to listen tonight. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> is that a form of protest, or is it just? Uh, 
I, it's I think CBS you're a, for Republicans. No, I think you're a brilliant individual, and I want to hear what you have to say. Oh, I see. Thank you, SG. I appreciate that. Uh, but unlike uh, Trump, flattery will not necessarily get you anywhere. Uh, you know. Uh, he, he goes to this, these rallies because he wants the adoration. That's what it's yes, really about. I'm, I'm wondering if there's fundraising going on at these rallies. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, what, what Scott? I was going to say, those people in those rallies, they don't have a pot to piss in, so they're not giving <laughs> any money. Well, I'm sure he, he's not giving them free uh, Make America Great Again hats. Oh, yes, he is. Didn't you see that? He throws them out in the crowd. Oh, I'm sure all the people. Yeah, there was there was some kid last night that was holding a pen and a uh, and a uh, program, and he was asking Trump to sign it, and Trump kind of walked past him and didn't sign it. Uh, I was a little disappointed at that. Why? I thought he should have done. What, it. what is this? This is like like uh, the Babe Ruth story, where kids are going up to Babe Ruth, going, uh, you know, we well, help me uh, with my dogs. Uh, my dog's uh, been hit by a car. Uh, we do something about it, Babe, huh, Babe? Will you do huh. something about it? Yeah. Well, Trump hit a home run. That's why. Uh, you know, I guess that's, that's what he did. I I see. I see. Yeah. Well, he <laughs> certainly he certainly has the body of Babe Ruth. There's no question about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't smoke cigars. Now, what I want to know from uh, Bree in uh, Dubai uh, is, Bree, why is it, is why is the front camera on your uh, iPad or it's your phone one, s seems to work? Yeah, there's, no, it's not an iPad. It's just a little tablet. It's, that's the only uh, one that seems to be working. The front camera is too dark. The, the front? No, that would be the camera you're showing us is actually the the camera on the on the back of the camera. The camera on the front is too dark. What yeah, does? Yeah, I mean, it? I'll I'll switch it back. Yeah, switch over, it back but over. It's just too dark. You yeah, see? What is that? How? I I don't understand why. I know why. Uh, there it's you are. That way. Yeah, yeah. It's the Russians. It's the Russians. Because no, this is not. This is uh, Alcatel <laughs> Pixie Cat. Okay, but I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Why don't you turn that camera? That that side and just face it towards you so we can see you. You don't have to see oh, us. I can't see you. Yeah. Then you wouldn't be able to see us. So. Right. We're not a pretty uh, sight. I, you know. I might be able to switch to my iPad. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. But for some reason, when I use the iPad, I can't use my Bluetooth. Um, that's odd. You know the <laughs> Bluetooth headset and microphone. Oh. Okay. Did you do you have but, the Bluetooth turned on? Uh. Well, I was planning to, but uh, we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Right. When the when other people wake up. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway. So That's something you have to remember, Alex. If you're on the radio, you can't be as free as you are here on the Internet. Oh, that's correct. That's correct. But then again, they can well, always... Maybe, maybe you'll get paid. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not getting paid for it. I'm not, I'm not getting paid for it. Yeah, think of this, though, as, uh, as an opportunity to uh, possibly get a spot. I mean, no, they, no, that's, know, that, 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 yeah. is, that is the furthest thing from a possibility. Are, are well, you, you able to know. promote your show? What? Can you promote the online show? I guess I, I, I guess I could once or twice during the show, you know, say that I have a, uh, uh, you know, a podcast. But, you know, yeah. that pretty if much... Call up and and, uh, and chill... When you're a for, when you're a former radio guy and you go on ra regular radio again doing a show and saying you've got a podcast, it, it seems to scream out the word loser. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know? Let me ask you something. I, I watched this guy uh, with a podcast on CBS uh, at, at the uh, takeout podcast guy, uh, uh, Major Garrett. Now he's not yelling loser. Wait a minute, Major uh, Garrett. Know, Major Garrett. Guy. Major Garrett is is on on one of the networks. I think he's on NBC or he's on uh, CBS. 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 So I mean, he he's already got a job. He's he doesn't live through a podcast. Pod, this podcast is the only fucking thing I've got. <laughs> you know, and I'm and maybe there yeah. there are twenty people who watch it. You know. Uh, had you thought about uh, doing stuff like you did in the past, maybe uh, having some uh, 
of your uh, interviews with uh, John Lennon or Yoko or you know just, just some of your best stuff just bring you know Yeah but I can I can just table. I can just post that online and I don't have to pl- sh- send it out no, live No 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 but if you're on if you're on the air you can do what you used to do that made you what you were and are what do you mean? I don't. I don't get what. I don't get even begin to get what you're saying here. And thank God you're oh, not my manager. What, what? What I'm saying is, draw from your past uh, shows, the you know your best stuff, and then put it out there. Oh, so what uh, you're saying is, I should go on, do the shot on uh, on on John's show, uh, on Walter's show rather, uh, on Walter right. on Walter's show, and, and 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 then just be. Do nothing but reruns? Is that what you're saying? No. Just no, uh, reruns just of my re- life? Do re- your best stuff. No. You know, use your use your best shtick. No. <laughs> uh, my, well, my, okay, you know. My best shtick? I got no shtick. Never had shtick. Well, you know, you can you had shtick. I pretty much recreate. spent my life having a career you where everybody shtick. went, what the fuck does he do? You know. <laughs> Hey, I wanted to ask you a question. When I told you I got a VPN the other day, yeah. and you said that I was the last person on Earth to, to have a VPN. Yeah, just about. Uh, how, many, how many people on your show right now, now I can't see because I'm on the phone, You'll ha- I'll rely on your honesty, uh, have a VPN? I, don't I have one. So huh? You have one. Bree has one. I have yeah. one. I have a couple. So that's three. Yeah. Well, so, uh, do you know what I realized is that I went on and said I was in Belgium or Italy, and and once I tried it from Hong Kong, and I said uh, I tried to get some airline tickets to see what the price was, mm-hmm. and the ticket that I was going that I was pricing was actually twenty percent less when I went to the site anywhere but the United States, and I, it was a it was a flight that I was going to take from San Francisco to Montreal, but decided not to go uh, because I hadn't been feeling that well. And uh, I didn't want to push it uh, to go to that convention. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but that ticket, uh, $200 more buying it uh, with a VPN uh, address in the U.S. than it was by uh, purchasing Uh, it uh, from Hong Kong. Bree has his hand in the picture. Yes, Bree. Yeah, but what, what happens? What happens, Phil, is eventually, if you click through on that, you're going to have to put in a payment method, and they're going to see that payment method coming from the states, and it will change. Really? That's yeah, a bummer. Will, yeah. Yeah. Most of the time, they'll figure it out, um, and then they may add taxes or other things. Uh, the main reason most people so. use VPNs is because they're downloading movies, and they don't want anybody <laughs> to be able to trace them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, I, I I was thinking that it was best to get rid of scam of spam, you know. And, no, uh, no, I'll tell you something. Like to begin with, I have exactly the same one you're using, Nord VPN. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what I find is I don't use it very much, uh, and the reason I don't use it very much is I find that whenever I use it, it slows slows down my my bandwidth considerably. Oh. I, would well, you? I, I've been leaving it. I've been leaving it on. I left it on the phone and I left it on the computer, and uh, I haven't noticed anything. But you know, that's uh, uh, you know, I'm not doing anything. Well, that, I notice uh, it much slower right. because I do a lot of things where I'm downloading stuff and uploading stuff, and yeah. uh, it's a lot slower when I got the VPN on. I see. Uh, yeah, it, it looks like an interesting thing. So for. Uh, uh, now the seventy-seven percent off. I paid ninety-nine bucks for three years. Yeah, well, I paid uh, I paid uh, sixty-six dollars for two. All right, so it's the same thing. Yeah. So it's uh, j- just another scam. Yeah, they try to sell you the three years. I didn't want to. I could have taken the three years. I didn't want to take three years. I didn't even want to take two. Uh, I that long. Huh? It, yeah. It, yeah. Really. Uh, what'd you say? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did Scott say? Live that long. Yeah, fuck you, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll live that long just to show you that I got my VPN for <laughs> well, two years. Show, then. No, I mean, no, I, I like when people want to sell you something and say, hey, if you buy it over three for three years, you know, blah, 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 this will be your per year, whatever. And, and I go, nah, because I don't know if a year from now I'm going to want this. 
you know, I'd like to just be able to buy it by the month because I don't know if I yeah. want it. You know, but now you're stuck with well, VPN for three years, whether you want it or not. Yeah, I'll bet you after it's all over I, with, you're going to tell me you didn't get your $99 worth. Well, if uh, if I can get a plane ticket, now Bree is kind of giving me the indication uh, why it's cheaper, it's the taxes. Uh, but if, uh, if I can get the plane ticket for 20% less, I would be uh, very happy and uh, yeah, but I think Bree is right that as soon as as soon as they see what uh, credit card you're using, they're going to change the price on you. I I wonder if like Manafort, I can get a credit card uh, offshore. (laughs) Like Manafort, you can also wind up being on trial. So you know. (laughs) Yeah, but I'll have nice clothes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You'll have yeah. an ostrich uh, ostrich jacket or something like that. What is it they said he had? An ostrich huh. jacket? Yeah, a, a 20, ostrich bomber $21, jacket. $21,000. $15,000 ostrich jacket. Yeah, yeah. Well, the judge doesn't want anybody to see that stuff because they feel that he feels that would prejudice a jury. That his wealth yeah, should he not... Yeah, he doesn't want them to... Well, they, he, he doesn't felt, want them called oligarchs either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, because he felt it would prejudice a jury. He's trying to keep a jury. True. You, you know, I, I I agree with the judge. You know, I think that that was a good uh, uh, assessment. You know, if you suddenly pull out all these pictures of all the uh, the expensive clothing and stuff that he's bought and whatever, uh, it's yeah. gonna you know, uh, and, it's and, gonna prejudice and what a jury. Jurors get five bucks a day plus <laughs> parking. I don't know. I I never wind wound up doing jury duty, but if it's something like five bucks a day, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, well, that would they want you to donate it. What? What'd you say, Scott? They want you to donate the money that you uh, earned to some charity. Do they do that? On jury duty. Really? Do they? Yeah. yeah. Fuck Honestly. them. Fuck them. I'm on a fixed income. I want my five dollars a day. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> You know, charity? Fuck you, <laughs> charity. Yeah. Come on. Give me money from from my little charity, the Alex Bennett charity. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, nah, you know, I just... Uh, um, um, did, by the way, did you see, this is an interesting turnabout, and I told you that there was going to be something happening here. The Weinstein What's trial. That? The Weinstein trial. You yeah. heard what happened today? Yeah. No. Oh. Weinstein came out. Uh, th- there's this one woman who is like, uh, most of the women fall in the category of, uh, um, you know, what's that thing when time runs out? There's not enough time. Um, uh, oh, yeah. They, uh, they've, uh, it, it, yeah. Yeah. Statute of limitations. Statute of limitations. A lot of these cases they've got is very, very either close to the statute of limitations or over the statute of limitations. But the one they had that was the most recent was this woman. And today he came out with something like, I don't know who she was, came out with 30 emails by her that just look like she was loving every minute of it. Okay. Really? In fact, in one of them, she said, I really enjoy being with you, and I thank you for spending all the time you spend with me, even though I feel like a booty call. That was, that was one, actually one of, the, uh, one of the emails. And wow. What, uh, and it, what it seems to say is that if you were to look at these emails, you would say, eh, she was a willing participant. Okay? Yeah. Uh, but the thing was, the uh, Justice Department, the prosecutors uh excuse me the yeah the pro was it no, the prosecutors while they yeah. knew that these letters existed never presented these to a grand jury when they tried to indict him wow and what they're saying is since so they this withheld, is yes they withhold evidence then? They, they were withholding basically withholding evidence that would have shown or exonerated him at least in that one case well, they don't have to in a grand jury, and that's the bad part about a grand jury. Really? Is the defense has no say in it. There is no defense in a grand jury. Yeah. 
But they didn't present. Yeah, but, they the, but they also didn't that, present the uh, grand jury with all the materials that they should have had in order to make a decision as to whether to right. indict him or not. And so, consequently, this could wind up throwing the whole case, all the cases, out of court. Not good. You know. Well, I don't know throw them all. But uh, are there any others that uh, are still uh, within the statute of limitations? Well, that isn't the point. The point is this erodes at the credibility of the prosecution. Right. Yeah. And, and uh, there's a very good chance that Weinstein's people are going to say we want all the charges against him dropped because of this uh, misuse of, you know, their powers and whatever. And it could but well that be that... Mean what? That doesn't mean that these people can't continue to sue civilly like they did in the uh, O.J. case. Uh, they can they can continue to sue civilly. Although I honestly, you know, I find that a little on the wrong side. You know, if somebody's found yeah. innocent, not guilty in a court of law, and then you go to him uh, and sue him, uh, and there are lesser less uh, 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 things you have to prove in order to find against that person. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be as, uh, as yeah. uh, decisive a decision. Exactly. You begin to say, well, you know, is it, is, it, is it fair to then sue him for something he just was found not guilty of? Am I right? SG agrees they, with me, right, SG? They did that to Wait a minute. Okay. SG, say but something. Look at, look, at Scott, look at Scott Peterson, for example. Yeah. Yeah, what about Scott Peterson? The dude murdered, and then or OJ. I mean, you, you you have to have some sort of or OJ where the whole jury was black, and they like, oh, you're okay. And then the dude really murdered the people, so you have to have a, some sort of civil suit. You can't say that one thing, you know, exonerates you from everything. Well, do you know well, that uh, OJ did do those crimes? Yes. Why do you know that? Were you there? Yes. Oh, I see. Found the glove. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Then I guess you win the argument. <laughs> SG, did the glove fit you? Oh uh, well, I don't know. Well, some some of the gloves fit me, but not not all of them. Yeah. yeah. All right. But you know, I mean, OJ's he's guilty. Come on. Who who's guilty? No, I mean According civil case, civil, civil cases. You know, there there are not what you're saying, Alex, is 100 percent of civil cases are wrong. What do you mean? Well, I, what I'm saying is, is that no, no, uh, no I'm no, not saying that if, if that's the only if that's the only case you had. But let's say, like in the case of O.J. Hi, Jeff. Uh, How are you doing? Yeah, uh, in the case of O.J., uh, uh, he was found not uh, guilty or innocent or not guilty or whatever in a court of law. Right. Now you turn around and you sue him for the basically the same thing, but you're suing him for monetary damages. And yes. you've already, in a court of law, found him not guilty. So yes. shouldn't that verdict apply to the civil suit? No. Why not? Oh, the reason is because you're evaluating the amount of money. In other words, the value of the, of, of the cost. Yeah, but, uh, but, but on the other hand, Jeff, what you're doing also is you're trying to establish uh, that he is culpable for those damages because he did it. So if it's been yes, proven already... It, but the question is, is it worth $0.10 cents or $10,000 well, or 100000 well, but, but, but according to a court of law, he didn't do it. So now you're suing him for saying he did it, and we want money for it. All right? In, in a civil suit, Alex, the burden of proof is less than it is in a court. I, I realize that, but can't right. you, shouldn't you be allowed to use the previous verdict as part of your defense? Well, you probably, they probably tried it, but, you know. You know yeah. A different jury didn't believe it. I, I don't know. Yeah. And I don't even think it has to be unanimous in a civil I mean, system. like, for instance, I want to ask SG this. O.J. Is it double indemnity to... to uh, no, the double to indemnity only applies to criminal cases. Yeah, all right. 
you know. Uh, but the SG, uh, OJ in Las Vegas, and getting thrown in jail for 10 years for that, do you think that was fair? Or do you think they were just trying to get him because they were trying to get even with him for the actual first uh, incident? Both. They got, they got him, first of all, on kidnapping. So he's, he went and he said, hey, this is my stuff. So he went to the room. Yeah. And he had, he, he had, he had guns and, and they, they took, they kept the people there. So I'm saying, I agree with you, Alex. Yes, they got him on the stuff before, mm -hmm. but also the guy was an idiot. Oh, there's no question about that. Nobody, you know, we're not, if we were to talk about the competency of this man as a, as a brain trust, uh, you know, you win immediately, right? You but know. you can't keep, you can't keep someone in a room, you can't keep someone somewhere without their permission to leave. I know. So that, you know, that's, that's one of the but, things that he did. But nobody, other things. if I'm not mistaken, they, nobody was really hurt who, in that who incident. Who had the gun? No, did OJ, have OJ didn't have the gun. No. no, but 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 they could have been hurt. They could have they could have been. I mean, there's there's all kinds of things you could say. For example, you know, maybe I'm hurt by being on this show. Maybe I. Can I, I think you. Story. Quite frankly, I think you are. Uh, and I, <laughs> I think I think your reputation is shot. <laughs> that's why he's in disguise. That's that's why he wears the dark glasses and the hat. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows who he is. Yeah. yeah. In fact, in real life, when he took the glasses off and the hat off, you'd find out he's Lindsay Lohan. You know. So. <laughs> that would be great. I'd love to be Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. Nothing more to just lie in bed and feel myself up. You know, that would be nice. <laughs> that would be really nice. Oh, my God. Hmm. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> A joke on that one. I'm trying to be silent, and here we go. Come in you know, I mean, uh, what a what a what a lucky woman uh, Caitlyn Jenner is. You know, she, she can just feel herself <laughs> up in bed. You know, and by the way, still getting an erection. That's the interesting part. You know, I thought he got I cut off. He, no, he didn't get yeah, a cut off. No, he didn't get a cut off. No. You sure? No, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I thought they said that he was. Uh, going to make the full transition well uh, they, they sometimes they say so you know i mean you had uh, what was it uh chastity bono remember chastity bono yeah <laughs> yeah uh yeah. chastity bono was a guy became a, wo a woman a woman who, who became a guy right yeah but didn't have an yeah. operation which of course as you all know is a, it's it's a, it's a medical procedure called an adedictomy and uh <laughs> That's uh, an old joke. Uh, 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 you, can, you can get a discounted one if you strap it on. Yeah, no, but 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 uh, somebody said to Chastity, "Are you going to get the operation?" And and he said, "I don't think so because you know it it, it it's so uh, you, you you're making a real decision there that that is and it's also medically difficult. It's, it's also more difficult to add the penis." than to remove the penis and turn it into a vagina. Yeah, yeah that's that's fairly easy to do. It, it's well, it's it, I'll, I'm, yeah. I just asked Lorena Bobbitt. She did it for him. Uh, well, I, I think uh, Caitlin did uh, deduct a dick to me. A, a what? Deduct a dick to me. <laughs> deduct a dick to me. What is that? Removal. Removal. No, uh, he didn't. No. Now, he hasn't had the uh, the operation supposedly, and a lot of a lot let of me, them. Let me get him on the phone. Yeah, you know, you know yeah, because in in fact, you you were at the OJ trial, so you should be able to call call Caitlyn Jenner for us. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think they uh, they knew somebody who slept with one of the attorneys. Yeah. Are you going to call Caitlyn now? Are you? Yeah, I am. Oh, okay. Oh. No, keep talks amongst yourselves. Yeah. Uh, hi, uh, Jeff. How are you? How are you, Scott? Scott, you okay? You okay uh, over there, Phil? You doing okay, Phil? Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah. Uh, how about Brie? Well, Brie? It's a busy signal, so. Brie? Nice. What? They're busy there. So. <laughs> what, what, you got put on hold or something there? No. Nah, they 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 put themselves on hold, but there's nothing to hold. Oh, I said. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, well, you know. Good. Uh, I, I think Caitlin's still doing the tuck and roll, is what Caitlin is doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, does he, does he sit or stand when it comes time to pee? That, that's, the, that's the telling, uh, the, the end all be all. I don't know. You know, I mean, the great thing about us guys is we do have an advantage over women in that we can pee from a moving car. You know, so yeah. if, if we really have to go while, you know, somebody's we're driving us down the highway, you, you, you we've all been with women who go, you got to pull the side of the road, got to pull the side of the road. I got to go to the bathroom, got to go to the bathroom because women can't hold it as well as guys because we can tie it in a knot until we need to go. And, and my, my girlfriends used to say, do you think you can find a service station so I can take a pee? Yeah, well, Not I mean, so that I, can cop a I have one that was in so in, in, in such pain. I had to stop the car in 80. But, you know, a guy just rolls down the window and can pee out the window. You know. We, no, that's what they make the, 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 those bottles for, you know. Uh, and when I had the major prostate problems, uh, sometimes I couldn't make it 15, 20 minutes without having to pee. And I had one of those trucker's friends. And I could just pull off the side of the road or off the... Trucker's off the friends? Is that, what, friend. is that what they call them, a yeah. trucker's friend? Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, what they use in a hospital, uh, and it has a little handle on it and a cap and a, a slight angle to the uh, to the top. Yeah. And uh, it even measures how much pee, you know, and I, it was it was pretty interesting to see how much pee I could get out each time. And uh, I, I would amaze myself. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, and, I, I'm bet there are a lot of people listening to this program right now. Glad they've listened in just to hear that story. Yeah, I got oh, an app yeah. for that. I got an app for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh Except boy. On your phone. Yeah. By the way, in case you uh, want to join the fun, uh, just give us a call right here. Okay, give us a call. If you don't give us a call, well, fuck you. Yeah. Do I care? No. Uh, because I, a woman. Hmm? Yeah, Renee, woman. are you out there? I wonder if she's out there tonight. I don't see her uh, on online here, uh, joining in. Um, um, uh, uh, Renee. Oh, uh, Renee. Renee always likes to give me a ration of shit when we talk about, like oh. the Weinstein thing, you know, uh, and the fact well, that it looks like Weinstein may skate on this deal. Well, I know, I know how to get Renee to call. How's that? It's very simple. Uh, because of the uh, new judge, they're going to throw out Roe versus Wade, and uh, and only Renee can save it if she comes on the show. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. 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 We haven't heard much about the new judge. It's funny. I always thought that Roe versus Wade was a option when you were in the water. <laughs> was, oh, Roe. Versus, yeah. Now that's good. I it was caviar. It's like. Fish versus what? No, row. Caviar. As in boat, or wade, as in hip boots. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, someone said caviar. That's what I meant. Oh, caviar. Really? Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, let me see here. Oh, wait a minute. I had a couple of stories that I found here. Hold on a second. All right. Hey, man. I gotta find my. It's uh, in here with all my other well, stuff. Well, you know, the, the new protest against Kavanaugh is K-A-V-A-N-A-H. Yeah. A A H. A what's what's that again? Kavanaugh. Oh, Kavanaugh. I see. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. That's, I got. I'm gonna put this back in here. Kavanaugh. Uh, this is all the paperwork for my. I've had all my paperwork there for my physical therapy. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, the one that you canceled? Huh? No, the not the canceled? one that I canceled. Uh, the new one I want to get. But first, I got to wait. And my my physician sent out a, 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 a what do you call it? A script uh, or whatever order. for it. Yeah, and uh, I haven't gotten it yet, so that bothers me. Uh, you know what's happened in the last couple of days that is, uh, what are you doing, cleaning the window? 
and I'm cleaning windows. What is he? What is he? Do, what is he doing there with <laughs> Bree? Can you hear me, Bree? He's outside. What, what? Is, is Bree back in Abu Dhabi? He's back in Abu uh, Dhabi, and uh, not Abu Dhabi. In Dubai. 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 Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. But uh, uh, what's happened in the last couple of days is, and it's been a quiet kind of thing, Disney has taken over Fox. Has it? Yeah. Now, yeah. not the Fox News Network, uh, and but they took over um, Fox Movies, the Fox mm -hmm. Television yeah, Network, cool. and all its ancillary networks like FX. And and so on. And Disney now owns those. Did they take over the uh, Fox Sports Network too? I don't know. I believe not. I think I think and news. Does, does Disney own ESPN too? No. Uh, yes, Disney owns ESPN, or at least a good not majority. Of they got a competing sports network. Well, it was owned by ABC, and ABC is owned by Disney. Is there anything Disney doesn't fucking own? Apple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, just wait. Just wait. Yeah. yeah. Uh, doesn't uh, doesn't Apple own Disney? Doesn't Apple own Disney? No, Apple. I, I well, I wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. You're you're no, you're right. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to get this straight. Pixar was sold to Disney. Disney was owned uh, by Jobs. Right. Uh, Pixar was owned by Jobs. Pixar. Pixar was well. Pixar, uh, yeah. Pixar was owned by Jobs. He sold it to Disney. And you said, right, but you said. And and what he got in Jobs and no, what he got oh yeah, and what he got in return for it was a whole chunk of Disney stock. Right. And that's now owned, I guess, by the wife. Yeah. Yeah. So sort of. Is she remarried yet? Disney. Is she remarried uh, yet? No. Does uh, she? Does she uh, need I, to? I heard she was going to marry uh, a blind Steve. <laughs> blind Steve? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 yes, Jeff. Didn't Steve uh, Jobs have a partner at, at one time? Yeah, uh, uh, Steve Wozniak. 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 Yeah. Or Woz, as he's affectionately known as. On the on the uh, Seattle Seahawks. He is. He, he does he sold out early. He, does he still have That's a major part said. of Apple? Oh yeah, yeah. He still has a lot oh. of stock in Apple. Yeah, I think so yeah. He had Hodgkin's disease, and so he he left the company because he was ill. I think oh. also. I think there was another reason too. I think was, and I, I know I briefly have known him over the years, um, talked with him or met up with him. Uh, he, uh, I think, felt that at a certain point he was no longer needed. You know, he was great at the initial stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. that yeah. was his bailiwick. But when it went into all the big stuff about designing these computers and making the Macs and the ba ba da, I think he just felt a little out of his out of his depth. And so he. No, he just, well, yeah. Have you ever read the book Jobs? No. I mean, the, he. They they met they, through uh, in HP in California, wow. and then Wozniak Wozniak wanted to give away the technology for free, and Jobs said, "No, nah, let's not do that." Well, Jobs Jobs uh, to begin with, Wozniak was a was a hacker, okay. Uh, he, was? he he was making yeah. he was making those uh, blue boxes, you know, that made let you yeah. make free phone calls, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, he was doing all kinds of illegal shit, and and J Jobs I think was attracted to him in that, for that in that respect, and then they uh, came together and they came out with this first apple, which by the way the first body on an apple, the Apple One was made out wood. of wood. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know where they thought yeah. that was a good idea, but you know, um, but to think you know I'm I'm sure that was was held on to some stock. And oh, I'm yeah. sure that whatever stock he had is worth a pretty penny now that they've hit a now that they've hit a trillion. They they they, they just looked it up. They, uh, Wozniak is only worth like a hundred million. Really? Yeah. Uh, I guess 
I guess he's going to have trouble paying for his dinner. Yeah. Well, then I, I guess he didn't hold on to that stock because if you had bought I that mean, stock for uh, what was it? What did they say? If you bought a thousand dollars worth of uh, Apple stock in the beginning, today it would be yeah. worth something like I don't know, uh, two million or something uh, per thousand oh, dollars. That was the uh, Amazon. If you bought uh, uh, one share of Amazon stock in 1997, today it would have been worth twenty-two thousand dollars. Well, you know something. I, here's I, here's, I, here's the part. This here's gabnet a gabnet stock out there. There's this gabnet uh, stock. Uh, no, out but there. I'll tell you what kills me. And if you buy it, it gabnet is, is that I was around the yeah. weekend. The weekend that that uh, Sirius stock tumbled to five cents a share, <laughs> and yeah. we didn't know whether the company was going to be open on Monday. But if oh, yeah. I had bought it like that Monday, for instance. Uh, at yeah. five cents a share, and I bought ten thousand dollars worth of it. Do you know what it'd be worth today? I'd be. I, 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 do you think I'd be sitting here doing this fucking thing? <laughs> no way. I'd be yeah, in. I'd be too. in Monte Carlo with hookers. Come on, you know. No, because I figured it out. What five? Uh, at five cents. So if I put in a thousand, in, uh, if I put in, I was thinking if I put in ten thousand dollars, which I could have afforded. Do you want to so figure this one out, Scott? To the dollar, huh? Twenty five cents would have been twenty shares to the dollar. Yeah. Ten thousand dollars would have been what? Two hundred thousand shares. Yeah. Twenty times ten thousand. Yeah, two hundred thousand. And what's it worth today? Uh, it's worth uh, just hit almost almost seven dollars a share. All right. So uh, two hundred uh, uh, one point four million. Huh? How much? One point four million. Yeah. My quick, my quick math. Yeah. Yeah. You screwed up, man. I, of course, I screwed up. I mean, I have some stock with them that they vested me, uh, you know, and it's it's been going up constantly, so I'm happy for that. But you know, you blew it. So the the, the guy from that cable company that uh, bought uh, a majority share of uh, uh, what is that? Uh, the radio thing you were on. Um, what we were just talking about. Serious? Uh, Serious? Serious. So, yeah, so there was a guy who bought, like, a majority share when it was a nickel a share. No, no, no. He bought uh, four, about 40%. You're talking about John Malone. And uh, yes, he, was, he, was the pres he was the president and owner of Cablevision out in Long Island. Uh, yes. And, and John Malone, that four, he, he bought 40% uh, bought of the company. And he still owns forty percent yeah. of the company, and the stock he, the money he invested at five cents a share, he's 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 made, he's made billions, he's made billions. Wow. You know, so. Um, well, it, it, I guess G says it's time for a public offering of uh, GabNet. Of GabNet, yeah, yeah. We're, we're coming up with an IPO at two cents. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> SG, you had your hand up there. SG. That would be double its worth. What? What did you say, Bree? And that would be double its worth. Yeah, it's double its worth, exactly. Ooh. Well, you know. Send me, send me, uh, Alex, send me $1,000 on my Venmo, and I'll invest it for you. No, uh, okay. Hey, uh. did you did you hear about the Bitcoin thing that happened today? I believe it was today. Uh, the guy, McAfee, uh, 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 had a bet that at first it was $100,000 that nobody could uh, uh, hack the uh, cryptocurrency. And then he raised it to two hundred and fifty thousand, and somebody hacked it today. Uh, so, has anybody heard anything about that? Hacked the cryptocurrency? Yes, uh, McAfee came up with a uh, uh, with a uh, process to make the cryptocurrency uh, unhackable online, and somebody hacked it. And he even had a, a bet, a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar. Uh, uh, bet that. Uh, oh, so he uh, what he did is he hacked. is he created something to prevent it from being hacked, and he said he would That's give two hundred fifty thousand dollars to anybody who could hack it, and they hacked it. Well, you know why? Mm -hmm. that's, because that's what I heard. McAfee in and of himself is a hack. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, he, he how much did he have when he sold uh, McAfee? No, uh, he, uh, he sold it for a decent amount of money, but by today's standards, it was pittance. It was a pittance. Yeah. Know. 
Yeah. I mean, you got to realize, uh, 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 what's his name? The guy is on Shark Tank. Mark Cuban sold uh, Radio.com uh, for, mm-hmm. I think it was $5 billion to Yahoo. Broadcast. Wow. Broadcast.com. Broadcast. Com. Com. Excuse me. And yeah. it was $3.9 billion. Is that it? Okay. In his that, wow. that is the biggest fraud in, like, history. What, what What's the biggest fraud? That, that he sold that for so many billions. It, that was like well, the yeah, well, look, You know, I don't think it's fraud. I think what it is, if there's a buyer who wants to buy it at that price, you know, it, it, Cuban and his partner didn't think twice. They, they uh, Here comes Yahoo with a chunk of money and says $3.5 billion. Do you, we want your company. And all, bro, all Broadcast.com was doing, and I remember it uh, as a company, was they were simply repurposing radio signals. In other words, now, you what, know, they did, what they did was what, uh, what they did was Mark Cuban was from Indiana, and and he moved to oh, Dallas from Pittsburgh, and then he and he and his buddies missed basketball. So what he did, they actually uh, took and they innovated the streaming of information, and they wanted to watch the Indiana basketball games. So that was Broadcast.com. They they. They founded. They founded a, a whole industry to broadcast uh, or stream information from elsewhere. Well, what it was that, was they were they were repurposing radio station programming. You know, but, you it, could, but it was it, it was all based on the guy was always already worth thirty million dollars when he did this. It was really? not like he was, uh, Mark Cuban, and so wow. he he did that, and he did they. Uh, innovated how to uh, stream video. Right, but also they were streaming audio too. I remember they were streaming yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of audio. Right, right. Uh, in other right. words, they were going to radio stations saying, "You mind if we put your 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 signal on our?" And they said, "Sure," you know, because the internet was nothing at that time. And uh, he, here comes Yahoo, and they go, "Hey, we want all these radio stations at Yahoo," and so they bought it. They thought it was worth three point five billion dollars. Cuban and his partner right. went. Give us the money, and they got out at exactly the time that the whole internet bust happened. Well, you know, you know, the interesting thing about this, Alex, is that he had a bunch of people who are selling advertising, and they're working for ten dollars an hour for Broadcast.com. Yeah. And but he gave them a bunch of stock, and those people became millionaires, and a bunch of them mm. did not. A bunch of them did not exit before the uh, b- before the bust. Right. Before the dot com bust, right, and so they're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, oh my god! So that, that there's a whole thing. He had a bunch of people working for him, yeah, including yeah, but, sports uh, broadcasters who work for him. Yeah, but also what I'm saying is, yeah. he got out just before the bo- the bust yeah, happened, no, and did. and yeah, so Yahoo was there, having paid three point five with him ever since. Yeah, with three point five billion dollars and didn't know what to do with it and ultimately broadcast.com came to nothing it became right. a, a loss so who, who, who got ripped off the biggest i'll tell you who it was you know the two kids that uh, uh zuckerberg paid 160 million dollars to yeah the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the what do you call the something twins uh yeah the, from harvard or, yeah 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 so they got 160 winkle boss <laughs> yeah zuckerberg is yeah, and Zuckerberg's what the third or fourth richest person in the United in the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Edward. So those, those guys, and and you know what isn't worth what they say it is? It's Facebook. I can't imagine Facebook is worth uh, the, the billions that that you know. It, it's 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 a website. <laughs> you know? Well, apparently, and, you know, look. Uh, it's the network, the people uh, okay. connected. Somebody said, I think it was yeah. she- Shecky when yeah, we were talking. Shecky, when we were talking stock one day, said that, you know, stocks yeah. are, 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 the stock price for anything is based on what people are willing to pay for it. You know? So if it yeah. goes up to, a, if it, it, you know, if it suddenly goes up to a trillion dollar valuation like Apple did, it's because people are buying it. 
and and uh, as, as, and a lot of times that's what brought about the dot com bust. A lot of people saw every time a new dot com would open up and do an IPO, it would fly off the off the walls. I remember the worst IPO of all times, Pets dot com. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, here 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 here's the plan for that company. You go online and you can order your dog food from us. Hey, ah, you're, well, you're, that, to begin they, with, it took it took to it, it took a week for the food to get to you, and your fucking dog <laughs> wants to eat now. <laughs> you know your dog is dead. Right? And they wound up selling you know, more. They wound up selling more hand puppets. You remember the hand puppet? They wound up selling more hand yeah. puppets than they did dog food, and. When the dot com bus came, they're, they were one of the first ones to just, you know, bite it. Their offices were at twelve hundred Folsom, and after they went bust, the guy who bought the building was a uh, engineer, and, our, uh, and uh, I put the carpet in. <laughs> we changed all the carpet out on uh, the uh, first and second floor. Did you have to get all the dog doo doo out of the out of the place? Yeah. But I mean, uh, pets.com, uh, you know, worst idea of all time, pets.com. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, now, if you go online, there's all sorts of pet food and pet toys. And uh, you can, there's a company that sells, uh, you remember that thing that uh, uh, Miranda used to get? It was like a box of, uh, of, of stuff every month. Yeah. Well, they have a box that comes with pet toys in it every month. There, there are a lot of different companies that have boxes that come with for various things like babies and stuff like that. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've ordered pet food online, uh, and uh, it, it works. They deliver it to my door. Yeah, but now now you can get stuff delivered almost the same day. I mean, like, uh, I was never into ordering food. Okay, I want my food now. I don't want it later. But now Amazon has Whole Foods, and they have them in almost every, you know, city in the, in the country. And so, if you order food from Amazon, it gets to you within two or three hours. All right. But in those days, in those days, you couldn't get pet food to somebody, especially because cans are really heavy. You know, in that well, short amount of time. It's kibble. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Big. They, big. They, 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 a yeah. Can you see your UPS yeah. guy hauling Uber some? Eats. Huh? What? You can get food through Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Uber. You can get food that you can prepare yourself. They send you the meal, and all you have to do is uh, do a little bit of preparation, and you have a semi-gourmet meal. Uh, uh, you know, and they send it to you weekly, I think, uh, or daily. You know, there's a... You get several meals. Yeah, well, you know something. If I want there's, that, there's 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 DoorDash, there's DoorDash, there's Uber Eats, there's uh, all kinds of things that you can get. On, it's called all all it's called on demand. And these the the right. whole uh, industry of on demand Uber and all that stuff is through that. You know who started that? The Chinese. Chinese takeout. Yeah, Chinese you know, takeout. Yeah. Deliver. <laughs> then pizza. Then the Italians jumped on board. No ticky, now, no shirty. Uh, why is it? Right. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. What was it about Chinese foods that made it so damn deliverable? You know, uh, I, I. I remember, for instance, here in New York, we had uh, dial a steak, and you could actually. Do, do you remember this, Jeff? It was like sure. you, you could dial a steak. It came with good steak knives, too. I, I had those steak knives for years. And I just, I, hey, I want a steak tonight. And I would order it. And it was like 25 bucks. And it comes to you the door. And it's, uh, it, it's, it's, not, it's not overcooked. It, you know, they found some way to, like, if, we, if he wants it r rare, then let's only cook it this much. Because by the time it gets to him, it's going to have cooked itself a little bit. <laughs> but... Um, uh, it, it, I think the Chinese, uh, the reason that it was so deliverable was the containers that they used. Yeah. You know, the, uh, and, and it was even before microwaves when you could reheat stuff. Here was something uh, you didn't know about the containers, though. They never told you. But I was, I was shown mean? it. You remove the handle, and then you slowly yeah. take apart the box. And what you have yeah. is a plate. That's yeah. right. Am I right? 
Oh. Yep. I, I didn't, didn't know, that. know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Most, most people don't know that, but if he, yeah, actually, they, there's stuff like that on YouTube. It shows you what the Chinese boxes are. I don't yeah, know. It's a plate. But yeah, yeah. But and when you microwave it, you don't want to leave the handle on anyway. <laughs> you know. yeah. aluminum it, it's it's like metal it will start sparking yeah. all right i gotta go have 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 some, i gotta plastic. go have sex with my wife so i'll see you guys later oh, okay goodbye sg all right okay Bye. anybody else want to call now to take up sg's place it's been a really slow week he, this week but i'm getting used to it he, now he uh, still has but, sex with his wife Wait a minute, what happened to SG? Well, let me just get rid of SG there so we don't have to uh, deal with them. A a a anybody else want to call? Please call. Do call. Listen, Bree, do something, would you? It turn <laughs> turn, yeah. turn, turn the, your phone around just so we can see your face today. I, it, it, you won't be able to see <laughs> us. It doesn't work. What? It's not working. No, it's no, no. Dark. No. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's the, it, it's, uh, the, the one that was shooting the window, it is better. But the one that was shooting the window, how are you shooting the window? The camera on the back. So why don't you turn on the camera on the back and then turn that camera towards you? Because I, then I wouldn't be able to see you. Well, what? that's you know, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't matter. I'm on the phone. I can't see anybody, and it's it's fine. Yeah, but I we can see you. We can see you uh, just fine. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, much better. Yeah, now I'm at the window. There's some sunlight coming in. Yeah, but I'm wondering what the problem is. Is it is it a cheap phone? What is it? Uh, it's it's a, it's an Alcatel Pixie Tab oh, oh. Four. So it's yeah, uh, it's a Android tablet. Uh, I got it. I, I don't know any phone named a Pixie a Pixie Tab. I don't know, you know. It's, it's a real pussy phone, you know. Uh, oh, you, you, my Yoda phone. I dropped my Russian phone, and half the and the LCD screen busted. So then I had to I switched to this uh, Pixie Tab because it has 4G. Rather than buying a, my extra backup phone, I'll, I may get uh, later today or in the states. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, so do you Bree, why why won't you buy an Apple? An iPhone. I do. I have an iPad. I have an iPad Air too. Um, so I like. I mean, I use all the operating systems that are out there mm -hmm. uh, on, on certain devices. So my office, I have a Mac and a PC. I have the latest Mac. Uh, it's yeah. huge. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. I even I have a, a a wormhole which allows me to use the all the screens, whether they're Mac or PCs, and go between them. Along with my uh, wireless keyboard, so is this yeah. your, uh, your 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 business of, uh, of, of you you do something with uh, 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 what do you call radio or, or something in, in in Dubai, correct? No, he's a teacher. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought he was. Uh, now you're thinking of Steve. You're thinking of Steve. No, no. Steve, uh, Steve needs help. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Bree, uh, I thought he uh, had something to do with uh, technology and uh, uh, historically. And a, and a, pardon me. Historically. Oh, historically, you, you used to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but I, I keep up. I'm just a gadget person. Um, you know, I've I've tried, had, watch, reviewed, you know, anything with gadgets of any type. Yeah. Um, yeah. By the way, do you uh, know? You I, know, I I didn't think this would turn out to be true, uh, but when they first brought out the iPhone X, I said, "Who wants to buy that?" You know, it was like a thousand dollar phone, which I wound more up than buying. That. Huh? Well, eleven hundred well, for, for this. Yeah. Uh, this one was eleven hundred because it has two hundred fifty-six k in it. All right. Eleven fifty, I yeah. believe. Yeah, eleven fifty, and I and I so I, I pay for it by the month, right? You know, pay out forty-five dollars a month for two years, and then it's mine. Yeah. But you know, the other way I had to do two years anyway, and uh, I still had to put out five hundred in the beginning. So anyway, I, I got I got this phone. I got, uh, but it turns out. This is their best-selling phone, the iPhone X. 
This yeah, is the he one used that, to tell me I was uh, buying a pig in the polk and nobody was buying it. That's a, nobody was. And all of a sudden it started becoming very popular and I think it was because they started really pushing it, you know. Also, I yeah. think in the beginning the the availability wasn't that great either. They were difficult to lay well, your hands I thought, on. I I thought the original idea behind the iPhone 10 was that it was a sell it was a limited supply item to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the iPhone. Uh, now, wasn't that the reason that they came out with it? No, they came out to, uh, they came out with it to make money. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course. It, well, it, that's on the other hand, what what I read how many in the last quarter how many yeah. uh, iPhones they've sold in the last quarter like twenty nine million almost thirty million. Can you really? imagine that? All those little Chinese hands working feverishly to put 20, 30 million of these things together? Last quarter? Yes. Uh, yes. Well, 30 well, the, million. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, Bree. so Alex, the, the way that it, I mean, you know how it works. They, they have life, all smartphones have life cycles. And so they, it, there's this, and everybody, when usually when you buy in, you have one year, two year plans. And so the fact that the iPhone X would eventually pick up sales is just a natural flow of the market just by waiting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I, you know, I, I, this phone, uh, I, I'm paying for it really over two years. Uh, okay. And so at the end of two years, it's mine hands down. All right. Right. Uh, but if I want to get rid of it next year, I can upgrade. But I'll have another two years of paying for well, a phone. What are you going to upgrade to? To an eight? Well, no, uh, no. They, they, they're coming out with a, they're coming out with a new ten. They're coming out with a new uh, X. Oh, the ten ten. Oh, I think they the call 10? it. I think they call it the iPhone X. They don't call it the iPhone ten. Yeah. Uh, well, the X stands for ten. No, I don't think it's. It stood for ten years. It it was celebrating the tenth anniversary of the Apple. Right. Okay. Yeah. But but the X they call it the iPhone X, and I, because I right. don't think anybody's going to go. Well, you know, I'm. Uh, what happens if uh, they come out with the iPhone ten? What are they going to do? They have the iPhone eight now. Then they'll have the iPhone nine, which would probably be next year, yeah, right? But- and then what happens so when the they have to do the iPhone 10? From 10 to 9? Um, I have no idea. But all I know is I love this thing because it recognizes me, which is more than my wife does. So it's, you know. The, Alex, is that the only reason you like it? Because I, I, I broke my phone and I need a new one and I, I don't know what to get. I, I recommend, I'll tell you, I recommend the iPhone 10 because it's a very powerful phone. First the of all, the camera is good on its side. It, uh, it, it's got an excellent camera. Secondly, and, the, uh, uh, the the facial recognition thing, you'd think it's just a ga- gimmick. But every time I look at this thing, I can then just turn it on. But if you were to look at it, you couldn't turn it on. But hmm. Alex, unless I Alex held it up your face. Unless you, when yeah, I, when, when this I, is a robbery. <laughs> hey, Alex, yeah. when I look at my iPhone 10, it sticks its tongue out at me. Oh really? Oh okay. Yeah, but yeah. but it, do you find it easy to carry and things like that? Isn't yeah. it kind of oh, big? Oh or? no, no. I was. But this, no. is, this is actually a bit smaller in actual size than the. Uh, That's because the, you had a six S plus. Not at a six S uh, plus, like and the bezel is thicker on it. But yeah. uh, yeah. I thought that would be too big, but no, I'm very used to it being this size. You know, okay. no, this, look this, too this huge. size of this pen is perfect. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I would want yeah, it any bigger. bigger you know, I wouldn't want it any bigger. If I want it bigger, I have an iPad. I can get an iPad Mini. You know. Did you? Uh, yeah. Did you get the insurance with it in case you yes. drop it and burn it? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, because if I'm paying off over two years on this deal, and <laughs> let's say I lose it or it falls apart or something like that, what is that you've got there? Uh, uh, this three. is the Russian phone that I use. This is the e-ink screen that works, and then the LCDs on the front. That one no longer works. Uh, so I don't know what I'm doing with it. I probably have to scrap it. I've, I've been trying to look for someone yeah. who can fix it. There seems to be a place in Germany, but you can just buy a new one for the the cost of. And know, it's 91 degrees in Dubai right now, right? 
Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, it's it's it, it, it right here now. It's uh, let me see here. Hold on a second. Let me try and find out. It's 78 here in New York now, so we're not doing that badly. But anyway, no, what I'm saying, I I uh, took out insurance on it, which is like eight bucks a month or something like that, because yeah. you lose this, and I'm sorry, you're still paying for it. Got to pay. You still got to pay for it. You know, uh, so uh, uh, that's why I insure it. I'm sure that the moment that I pay this thing off, I'm going to do away with the insurance because I don't need it. You know, but the insurance yeah, is kind of know, a, it, it's kind of the insurance. Wait a minute, the insurance is kind of a rip off though, because uh, it, let's say I lose it right now, first right off the bat, I have to pay out three hundred dollars, and they'll take care of the rest. Uh, Every uh, I think it's every three months or f five, six months, it goes down fifty dollars. Oh, okay, that's okay. Nice. Until finally, towards the end, you you would have to pay out fifty dollars if you lost the phone. So. I, but, but Alex, if you break if you break the screen on an iPhone ten, it's very expensive. I understand. Well, I have a protective uh, screen on. I have a protective screen I, on. I, I have the protective. And secondly, too, but secondly, it's like the they, secondly, the insurance I have, Phil, is against damage as well. Right, right. But what I'm saying is, the reason you would want the insurance is that if you did break the screen, I think it's five hundred bucks to repair the screen. Uh, does anybody know uh, what it actually is? The, I, yes, I think yes, I think uh, Jeff, bucks. Jeff. On on my Apple Six, I had it fixed because it was broken. Hundred bucks. It was hundred bucks. Hundred or hundred fifty. Yeah. Right. I I did the same thing on a uh, on a six, but uh, on the uh, on the iPhone Ten, for one reason or another, because of the type of screen that it is, it's far more expensive than the normal screen yeah. to fix. Yeah. But anyway, so if I if I lose this and they have to pay, I think it's it's three hundred dollars. But I don't know if I have a problem with it like that. I don't think I have to pay three hundred. I think they just uh, take care of it. You know, it's, it gets fixed. You know. Yeah. So. Uh, well, that's a good reason for having. Insurance. But but uh, it, you know, oh the, wait a minute, uh, turn sideways, Kevin. Turn it sideways. You know, we hate portrait mode. There. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. Okay. Can no. you see me? Yeah, but you're, you're you didn't uh, you turn sideways. Tur turn your camera sideways? landscape mode. Landscape mode. Oh, okay. Is that better? There we go. Now we can see. Where are you? Uh, I'm at a uh, relay for life walk in Hollister. A relay for life walk. Now, what is the relay yeah. for life walk in Hollister? It's a cancer walk, and I thought I'd do a ray. <laughs> well, you are doing a ray actually, and. Uh, uh, why don't you turn it around a little bit so we can see you? Uh, okay, let's see if I can figure that out here. You just have a little picture of a camera. If I get screwed up here, I'll just hang. You up, have a picture on your. You here. have a picture on your phone of of a camera. There it is. And you hit that. And it yeah, there we go. There we go. There you are. Oh, there that's good. Yeah, and there's more there light that way too because there's a lot of light uh, hitting you in the face. Yeah. So th what it is is a uh, cancer walk. What, and, uh, everybody's walking to get cancer or to put, or to solve cancer. What's that? Are they are they walking to get cancer or are they walking to do away with cancer? They're walking to take money for it, to yeah. cancer research. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's uh, I've got you know I'm walking for my mom, uh, breast cancer survivor. And, yeah. Uh, for my uh, uh, worker coworker that was an admin that died of breast cancer for brain cancer. Oh boy. And uh, I do it every year, so I he, thought I'd call. They do this luminary thing where they have all these, they light up oh, all these oh, bags Oh, okay. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. And so, so I thought I'd call in. And I heard you guys talking earlier, and I, I thought I'd walk over here and check it out. They do all kinds of well, it's, it's, cool stuff. It's nice, it's nice to see you walking, getting the exercise, and... Yeah, I got my cane and my bottle on my cane, see, here. Yeah, okay. All I'm right. Bottle, I'm okay. Yeah. How much? I'm do you, limping how, along. My wife has already bailed on me, so she's about forty feet ahead of me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and I'm I'm walking in front of everybody. And are you capable of walking not, with? Are you capable of walking without the cane? Yeah, but not for long distances. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I'm doing laps here, so yeah. I'll get about one lap to their three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your wife has no compunction about just going out ahead of you and just saying, fuck you. Oh, hell catch no. I'm the, I'm the lonely duck. <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm like, a, you know, you know, you got you to, gotta, she'll bail on me in Costco or whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, this is, this is the beard. It's the beard, Kevin. She says, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, she doesn't want nothing to do with me. Is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the thing is, for instance, we have this, you know, it's an amazing world. We've got you outside and the cancer walk in, in uh, Northern California, and we've got Bree in Dubai. And last night we had a guy calling us from Thailand. Hey, Bree. Bree. We had a Hello. guy calling us from Thailand while Ray was walking his dog, you know. Uh, uh, this is a, this is a, this is the future I always thought about, you know, when it came to broadcasting. Yeah, but I never, cool. but I never thought I would see it because I, I like to tell people the story of years ago, uh, when I was in my teens, early teens. Uh, NBC did this bit where they just put in the coaxial your, your, cable. Uh, audio is out you're being yeah, I'm getting close by, to the band. Uh, Let me mute myself. And okay. Get by the band, I'll okay. Back on. All right. Uh, uh, it, that that uh, they put in a thing called the coaxial cable, which was this continuous cable that went across the country, and they could send a signal through the coaxial cable. <clears throat> and uh, the big thing on this was a show called Wide Wide World with Dave Garraway, and they <clears throat> took a shot of, I think it was maybe the Brooklyn Bridge or maybe it was just Manhattan, and then that was on one half of the screen, and the other half of the screen, live, was the Golden Gate Bridge. You were seeing both coasts at the same time live. And I was astonished, okay? I mean, I was gobsmacked by this. And now look at what we're doing. He's in Dubai and he's in Hollister and uh, Jeff is up in Connecticut and Scott is down in Texas and Phil is out to lunch and... Um, <laughs> You know, it's it's an amazing uh, it's an amazing thing we've got here, and and uh, I've seen this all in my lifetime. And I was thinking today, my God, you know, if I were like ten, what would what's it going to be like for those kids when they get to be my age? Because I've seen uh, seen science just exponentially grow. In fact, there's an algorithm somebody came up with about how fast this stuff grows, and the more it grows, the faster it does, you know? I mean, think about the leaps and bounds we've made just in, in, in the, uh, the cell phone in the last 10 years. I mean, do you we, think Moore's Law has anything to do with uh, cell phones like it did with uh, computer processing? Uh, what, was, what was Moore's Law? There, it, was a, it was a law that uh, every, that like... Every year and a half, the speed would double. Would double, yeah. And I think it he, uh, that prediction has been pretty true, hasn't it? I think they say it was yeah, it was much. very very accurate um, for a long time, for probably forty years. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so I find it amazing that we're that we can do this. You <clears> know, and uh, you know, it's funny about Dubai, uh, 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 Bree, is that I've got this. Um, this thing here, a uh, it's called uh, uh, Apple TV. Your screensaver. And, and the screensaver, I have yeah, at least might. two or three of them that are Dubai. They're the sands of the was it the Lima Desert? Is it called? What's it the? Uh, what's the desert outside Dubai? This is wonderful. No, no. Las <laughs> Vegas. Huh? Las Vegas. Yeah. Las Wait a minute. Vegas. Hold on a second. Let me just. I'll just turn this on. I can look. People can see it in back of me. Uh, come on. You're gonna go on, or aren't you? What, what's with this? Oh, there we go. Okay. And let me turn this on. Uh, uh, let me see here. This goes here. Yeah, the, the Arabian Desert. I was gonna say the Arabian Desert, and I guess that's true. No. Uh, this thing is not. Uh, oh, there we go. And then I do that. Yeah, the Arabian Desert. Well, there. Right now, I'm on the. Uh, you see, if people can see in back of me. Wait a minute. Let me, let me just put on my my screen, and you can see uh, what I look like here uh, in back of me. You can see the. Um, uh, that's. Uh, they do these wonderful screen savers, and that's. Uh, 
that's uh, the uh, Great Wall of China. Uh, but they've got uh, Dubai. They've got a flight over a major street in Dubai. And uh, then they, uh, um, uh, they have this desert. And it's a, like the, it starts with an L. And it's outside of Dubai. Uh, well, when I, if it comes up, I'm, that I know just calls it the Arabian Desert. So really? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know yeah. if I. Uh, and, and then they, there's a thing because what they do now is that if you tap on the on the on the on the thing on the remote, uh, it tells you underneath where this is. It tells you what section of the Great Wall of China this is, and it's funny. I also get a lot of screensavers of the Big Island of Hawaii. So you know, we've got Renee and we've got Dubai represented by Bree. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing they sh shot in Connecticut. Uh, uh, it's too bad. I may be moving. Really? You may be leaving. Yeah. Du you may be leaving Dubai. Yeah. Where are you going to go? I'm not sure yet, but uh, somewhere else. I've been here for five years. Yeah. And uh, it's about enough. It's time for you to move on. Yeah. You're going to find. I, I guess I'm a global nomad of sorts. Are you going to come back to the United States, or are you going to just uh, try and find another place outside yeah, the United no. States? I'll probably stay outside of the yeah. U.S. Yeah, I, that's a good idea. I wouldn't come. Back. I wouldn't come back. <laughs> exactly, Scott. Of course, ah. Phil loves it because his uh, his butt boy Trump is doing so well. I mean, I'm just amazed by how well everything's doing. It is just. Uh, just I, just breathtaking. Do you know that according to Trump, the economy is the best it's ever been in the history of the United I, States? I, that's amazing. It's damn good. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it, Phil? I didn't know that. Phil, did you hear that? Trump said that. Yeah. Are you there, Phil? Yeah, well, yeah, the only the only person that's out of work right now is you. No, but... And, and Scott. And Scott. You know, on the road. Yeah. And, and Jeff. And Jeff. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, yeah. Just retired, medically retired. <laughs> but well, I, I, I'm technically I'm retired, right? Doesn't that make sense? I'm no. Oh. Uh, uh, wasn't it Jeff's choice to retire? Um, you know, yeah, I'm, uh, it was you time. Know, uh, yeah, Alex is going to go back to work on the 26th, and uh, I'm I'm. Hoping that it gives him the the charge that he wants, you know. No. Uh, I think that it would be great if uh, something came of it, even if it was a weekend thing. You know? It's not going to happen, Phil. That's not what it's about. That's not radio anymore. It's not that easy any longer. Well, you know. he's got to think positive. And plus, if I did go back to work, I'd be paid like you know fifty cents an hour. This business doesn't pay anything anymore. I'm doing this. That, that's, that's a big. That's a big. At least you be. I'm doing a national program for free. For crying out loud, I've yet to see my paychecks from WOR here in New York. You're doing an international program for free right now. Well, yeah. You know, so. Uh, and uh, you know what I'm doing tomorrow? What? Getting together with John Perulis again. Oh, really? Shoot another MMA match. Gee, is he ever going to call us again? We hardly ever hear from him. Uh, yeah, he's been busy. And, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure he'll call on Tuesday after uh, yeah. I get together with him on Saturday. Yeah. Now, how are you, what, you were not feeling well last night, and I was worried about you because, you know. I appreciate that. That was so nice of you to, uh, to reach out. Uh, yeah, I didn't feel well. I, I was uh, between the stupid uh, personas thing not working yeah. and feeling clammy and hot and tired. Uh, well, you see, you know, I worry. I rarely. Yeah. Hmm? I worry about that I, I when, hear, when I hear that because, yeah. you know, uh, that can be uh, uh, heart problems, you know. Well, I, I, I took a nitroglycerin also. Uh, because I was feeling tight in the chest, so uh, it, it was just. I would uh, I would call your doc. I would call your doctor about it just to be on the safe side, you know. Well, it, you know, uh, I I pretty much know what to do. Uh, 
I, I, it wasn't a heart attack. It was just, uh, it was just, I was pushing myself yeah. a little more than I should have. And uh, I had a hard time keeping my eyes open. I mean, I yeah. listened to the show a little bit, but I fell asleep. Right. Uh, let me, hold on a second. Kevin, uh, you were showing us a bag there. Was that somebody you knew at all? Yeah, that was uh, Darlene, my assistant at work. Yeah. That was Darlene. Yeah. Is, is she gone? And yeah, she died of uh, brain cancer. No, oh, wow. A couple years ago. That's not a pretty. Yeah, she was gone in like, she was gone in like six months. Really? Wow. And that's uh, my mom. Breast uh, cancer, and she's a survivor. Oh wow. That's hey, about I'm 15, 20 years. Wow, that's great. You're a survivor, Phil. Yes, you that's are. Right. Yeah, Phil. I'm 100 percent right. cancer free. Well, you don't know yeah. that. So is uh, yes, I do. Jeff. Now if we can, uh, it, yeah. now if we can get you Trump free, I think you'll be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that, that car I was showing you, I was saying we should make that a Republican car and charge three bucks every, you know, five bucks for three hits, you know, with a sledgehammer. <laughs> you could probably beat it up in no time. Yeah, you guys call, call it the all Republican hit. Yeah, you got CBS. Trump derangement there you go. syndrome. Uh, wait a minute. We could make it one of those limos. Oh no, here we got we're following uh, Thames in London. Uh, I, I, I'm just hoping maybe the Dubai thing would come up. But, uh, My wife just lapped me for the third time. I, I give up. She lapped you? You mean, in other words, she has gone around three times in the one time you've been walking? Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, tell her to go fuck well, herself, okay? You know. Kevin, you... If she leaves, Kevin, if she leaves you again, you can get alimony. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, I'm about ready to. Uh, they're going to do a ceremony here in about five minutes at nine o'clock so yeah well we're, we're almost probably we're almost through here get you away from the noise and i'm gonna go sit down and listen to some music you know, i'll just stay with us till the end of the show though it's got only about another two or three minutes here uh yeah yeah so uh uh, uh i'll Bri mute it up so i don't yeah. bother the okay. uh, background here Bree is thinking of moving somewhere other than dubai and i'm sure he will find some other exotic place uh, you've always you've always gone to exotic places, haven't you? I mean, places that were different. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, where were you before? So we'll see. Before Dubai, where were you? Singapore. Singapore. See, mm -hmm. see, see. That's our boy. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 if he goes back to huh? if he goes back to Singapore, he'll be calling us uh, uh, the next day. Yeah, uh, no, I won't uh, go back. Listen, <laughs> I don't go back. Did you like Singapore? On the, other side of the international date line. Did you like Singapore? Yeah, I like. Oh, I did. Yeah, but it's a different style, different place. But I wouldn't go back there. I think anybody who lives in Singapore for more than five years, I don't understand them. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing really there. There. So, really? you know, five years, six years, okay. I mean, I, I was there for seven, so I guess I was two years past what I thought. Yeah. The amount of time you spend there. Yeah. Well, I, uh, uh, you know, I, I wish I were younger. I think I would probably leave this country and go work somewhere else, you know? I mean, there are enough uh, English-speaking countries that I could probably ply my trade. Uh, somewhere else. You could work yeah. here in Dubai. Yeah. You could work for Dubai I 103.8. And do they have English uh, announcers? They do. They tend to be British. Yeah. Well, I can always be British. I was for a while anyway. There's one Canadian guy. Yeah. There's a Canadian guy at night. I think there's yeah. a Canadian guy that does sports. A couple Australians. Je Jeff had his hand up. Yeah, yeah. Jeff, Jeff had his hand I up. Say, I, I lived in uh, Australia for just a, a couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> But it was a very interesting experience. Yeah. Hey, listen, I, I, we've it's a great place. We've run out of time. I want to thank uh, Bree for joining us this evening. Uh, thank you very yes. much, Bree. Of course, Scott Boddicker, thank you for being there. Uh, thank you all the times that you are there. Kevin, thank you for taking us out to that uh, cancer walk. Thanks to SG for being snarky. Uh, thanks to uh, Jeff, of course, and to the always wonderful we won't put it well to, I don't want you to see his phone number the always wonderful Phil Meyer and if everybody would like you just from wherever you are give a big wave goodbye 
and uh, say goodbye to everybody. Thank you, gang. I appreciate it. Okay, bye bye. That's it. Wait a minute. Let me let me let me go back there, and then let's do it like that. There we go. That's so much nicer when I do it that way. Anyway, that's our uh, that's our that's our group for tonight. Let me just get rid of them here uh, because. Uh, the next program has to use the Skype lines. Get off the line. I gotta make a call. Okay, that's it. That's all she wrote for this week. I'm Alex Bennett. This has been a rough week. It's been slow, but it's been good. Tonight's show is just fine. Uh, as coming up next, Jack Bishop. He's got the uh, the intersection coming up, and then at uh, one o'clock in the morning, connections. That's with the folks from Florida. It's a fun show. If you don't ever get a chance to listen to it, you really should. I think you'd, you'd find them all very interesting and fun and topics are, are provocative. And uh, you'd enjoy it, okay? And then I'll be back again after uh, uh, Damien Chaplin takes to the airwaves on Tuesday at 9.30. I'll be here at 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? <laughs>